Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and local learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSD Mathematics Class 7, Chapter 24, Area and Perimeter, Exercise 24, A Question 21. And it is the walls and ceilings of a room 7 meter long, 5 meter wide and 3.5 meter high are covered with paper 6 uh, deca uh, decameter wide, right? Uh, de decimeter wide. Then it says find the length of the paper required if no length less than a meter can be brought right so see here that uh, uh, suppose if this is the room right this one here okay this is the uh, actual uh, room okay now what uh, what do we observe here in this is that the dimensions of the room are also given to us right so see here that in this room the length of the room is what seven meters okay and this is the width right this one and the width is what five meters now what is the height this one right both of these so uh, this height is what 3.5 meters okay it is written 3.5 meters high that means the height fine now what is it asking is that we have to cover the walls and ceiling ceiling is the top part right the roof over here this one ceiling is this we have to cover this and the walls inside right see here i'll show you okay so all of these four walls this one this one this one this one and this one they have to be covered with what carpet okay so um, they have to be sorry not a uh, carpet paper right so paper has to be used in covering them and what has been given is that if I have this roll of paper here with me okay so in this roll of paper the width is six decimeter now six decimeter means what see here that uh, first of all what are we going to do is we are going to add the area of the wall and the ceiling together right all the four walls and the ceiling why because we need to know the total area then only we can find the um, your length of the paper see how first of all the area becomes what area of walls right so all the four walls are going to be um, just uh, uh, coming over here right so what are we gonna use here have a look um, see 2 into L plus B multiplied by the height this is the formula we're gonna use now let's put the values together so 2 length is what 7 meters and uh, sorry don't write meters here okay this is the length what is the breadth here plus breadth is 5 meters right breadth or width both are same right and height is 3.5 meters so this will be what um, 2 into 12 into 3.5 right this will be 24 into 3.5 right what is this going to be let's do the multiplication here okay so 24 to be 84 square meters okay this will be the area of the four walls and now we'll find area of ceiling right so area of ceiling will be what length into breadth simple don't use the height here okay because ceiling is just one uh, your one side of the entire room so there is no need of seeing the height in that right uh, although it is located at a height but we don't use height for calculating area right it is basically a wall only which is located on a height right now that will be what 7 into 5 that is going to be 35 square meters so total area is going to be what see here so total area is going to be uh, 84 plus 35 right and that is what 100 and 19 square meters okay now see here that uh, we know now calculate the length also right length uh, sorry not the length we'll first see the width of the paper right so width covered with paper 6 decimeter wide so here we write width of paper right that is 6 decimeter so 6 decimeter convert 6 decimeter back into uh, square meters right so what will this give us 6 
upon 10 meters right so 3 5 okay and this will be what 5 and 0 point uh, 0 point and 6 right 0 0.6 meters right this becomes our width of the paper now you uh, you must have seen that uh, what uh, what do you must have seen it here um, that what we what we do to calculate the area is length into breadth right that equals to area but we don't know length okay we know breadth so we can uh, we have to find length so length can be written as area upon breadth this we can say right so what will the length become 119 upon 0 0.6 cancel the decimal point so one zero will increase now cancel this so one and one nine eight point three three meters right but it also says that no length less than a meter can be brought right so we cannot purchase any length uh, less than what one meter so we cannot go below 0 0.00 we have to increase the length right 0 0.33 is there so instead of 198.33 we will write it as 199 meters right we will not turn this into 198 because we are going less than a meter we will write it as 199 right so this becomes our answer and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and